Our campaign is called Reach for the Rings, um, which sort of has a dual meaning. Um, I guess the more literal meaning being reaching for the Olympic rings, that we are trying to live that Olympic dream. Um, and then a more fitness-esque meaning with the idea of reaching for the rings, visualizing the gymnastics rings, um, hanging down from the ceiling and people jumping up to do, say, muscle ups, right? You have to reach up for those rings. People tend to stand there, right? They stand there in their weight and they say, I'm not ready yet. And then they wait, they get a couple more breaths and then they jump up to the rings. Um, and our philosophy has kind of been, well, don't wait, just go, right? Go before you're ready, in a sense, or go before you think you're ready because you're never gonna be totally ready. And if you wait, you probably waited too long. This is new territory for our sport, uh, for our federations, you know, for everybody. And we can't be afraid to just reach for the rings and go. Between launching in June of 2017 and then Worlds in October of that year, we had eight federations form and then show up at Worlds, which was super awesome. And then next year, we took Worlds to London. And at that point, we had 24 federations in our organization, and I think 14 of them came to Worlds. Then this year now, we are in Sweden, and we've taken another step up. We're at 35 national federations, and I don't have the total count of how many are here yet, but I think it's over 20. The SWE 3F. Canada Functional Fitness. The Australian Functional Fitness Federation. The German Functional Fitness Federation. The F3 Federation for Aruba. Russia National Federation. The Hellenic Functional Fitness Federation. The Norwegian uh, Federation for Functional Fitness. Benefit is an organization for the functional and fitness sport in Venezuela. We don't have to go beg people to start federations. They kind of come to us. So people will reach out and they say, hey, I've heard about this. I think this is a great direction for the sport. How do I get involved in my country? How do I start a federation? What do I have to do? And that, that organic uh, growth is really important. And also, I think it makes for stronger national federations because you have people who are saying, I want to do this because I care about the sport. So national federations kind of do what we do as an international federation, but on a national level. They work to get recognized by their various ministries of sport and then their national Olympic committees. They're also all nonprofit organizations and there can only be one per country. So we recognize one in every country and their job is to promote and grow the sport in their country. So it's been 15 years now, I guess you could say, that I've been inside the sport as a coach and athlete. Um, I've coached thousands of athletes inside this sport. Um, I've coached hundreds now of coaches who are coaching inside the sport. I participated at the highest level in fitness and won. And then I went on to keep trying to help others and different athletes expre express that. I would say that I've probably been a, some of those individuals, one of those individuals that took our sport to a really serious um, maximal potential personally. So it allows me to have a lot of experience to see what's, what's best for the growth of this sport when we want to structure it and govern it. We can't lose sight of, of my past in the sport. And it makes me emotional to think that I'll have a part to play in fixing it. It feels like I'm rewriting something that I was a part of that sent it in the wrong direction. And now I really feel like I need to, I need to bring it back to center so it has some respectability.